Hey guys, it's Mrs. Scott Dunda. Today we're talking about artist um, Maria Martinez. She was from New Mexico, um, just like Helen Hardin, and she's also from the Pueblo um, tribe. She was around in the late 1800s, and we're gonna go ahead and go over our essential questions. Third, I want you to look for balance in the art. Fourth, color, and fifth, use three to five elements to describe the art. Okay. So there is a brief two minute overview of the entire lesson um, at the beginning of the PowerPoint. And then we get into artist Maria Martinez. Um, she was a Pueblo Native American, um, born in like the eight, late 1800s. And she always signed her famous black on black pottery. So that's a main idea of the entire lesson. Here's her black on black pottery on the left and Maria is on the right. She constructed the pottery using 17th century techniques that she uh, tweaked for the modern day. She was taught pottery by her aunt um, and then she ended up teaching many other people in her local community um, the art of this black on black pottery meaning there's only two colors the neutral colors um, and there are different gradient shades or hues of black that neutral base color <clears throat> there's a link in the PowerPoint that links out to a Yale professor Ned Blackhawk it's very knowledgeable um, Native American and he is talking about Maria Martinez's influence he's at the Met or Metropolitan Museum in New York and he goes through um, some of the new ish uh, cultural representations in museums for Native American art so we're kind of changing how um, the museums look nowadays um, in comparison to the last 100, 150 years that the Met's been open. So this is um, Dr. Ned Blackhawk and I want you to watch this video. There's a link in the PowerPoint. He goes over um, about for three minutes uh, Maria Martinez plus Native American um, influence today in 2019-20. He goes over standing um, full um, Sitting Bull's um, last stand artwork there of Little Big Horn. Here's Maria Martinez's artwork within the video. He goes over that, um, but she revolutionizes um, Pueblo and Native American art because she signs her art. No one really was really signing their art or making it their own identity before. It was kind of like an in mass generalization. So I want you to watch that. Um, <clears throat> back to the PowerPoint. So that's our Met and our Yale professor. Here's some more of Maria Martinez's a famous black on black pottery. She took the red pottery that you can see there and she smoldered and um, layered earth on top of a fire and that's how she got that black on black pottery. She also researched that archaeologically um, with some professors to come up with that 17th century technique. There was no like written instructions on how to do the black on black pottery and it had been a lost art for 200 years so she brought it back. She researched it and brought it back. I want you to go into this video. Um, it's from the PBS series on Maria Martinez. I'm gonna show you like two second overview of it, but it's a four minute video. It goes over her like working with the sand, the different clays. Um, it goes over the painting process of it. And also um, her husband, Julian, worked really closely with her to paint the pottery. There's the sand. Um, she really was particular about the types that she used. 
here she is back in the old Indies in the 1930s. Um, this is old footage of her. Um, and you'll watch that making the actual clay from the dirt and um, making the pottery. There's her son, um, Papa Viv, I believe his name is. And there's some of their pottery. Their pottery goes for like 25,000 to 40,000 now um, per pot, depending on the size. <clears throat> So here's the Metropolitan Museum's website. And I don't know where else. We have a lot of, I have a lot of windows open. <laughs> I'm going to YouTube. Can you hear my farm in the background? It's like everyone's like chickens and stuff are going. Okay. So I guess here's my YouTube. Um, Maria Martinez Intro Elementary. I have all kinds of stuff on. Like and subscribe to YouTube. Just taking a short commercial break. Okay. <clears throat> We're gonna draw the bowl at the end too. That's your final product. I have two YouTube channels now, so like and subscribe to them both. And this PowerPoint is on the YouTube channel. Okay. Okay. So she was taught by her aunt how to make pottery. We went over that. The professor from yeah, Yale at the Met. Her black on black pottery. More beautiful pottery. The red that she puts through the technique, the PBS video, right? And then we looked, okay. Yeah, she was, like the professor says um, from the Met, when she started signing that artwork, she owned it and it was independently hers. She was no longer part of this unknown um, art. And she used archeological shards of 17th century Pueblo pottery to recreate her own black on black designs effectively. Okay, so we talked about this in the Ringling Museum tour where all those shards of pottery <clears throat> from the Roman Empire were really important because we can like kind of like look at it and replicate it um, with science, right? So she actually replicated it. We're gonna replicate a bowl um, fairly rudimentarily, um, just with lines and shapes um, together, less than two minutes. And you can add your own twists and designs to it as well. Now, I think we're gonna go look at the Metropolitan Museum of Art just really quick. I wanna show you the kids um, <clears throat> part of it, um, of the museum. The museum actually, I think it's 150 years old. It's in New York um, and it houses a lot of famous artwork. Um, it's a national treasure. So <clears throat> you go to the Metropolitan Museum's website and just click on Maria Martinez. Um, you can find her black on black pottery right here. So the black on black jar, I'm gonna click on it. It was made in 1919 to 1920. That was a hundred years ago. Um, and it goes over Maria and her husband, Julian, 1943, um, Pueblo artisans, okay. And it goes over like how they use the slip and they take the clay and they add more water to it and they use that to actually paint on and then that smoldering process and just like in the Ringling Museum the Metropolitan Museum has all the details how they acquired um, the dimensions um, you know where it's at in the gallery if it's on view if it's not if it's locked up um, you can see here, it, they're calling it a vessel, and that's what we were calling functional art as well. Um, like pottery, you can put something in it. Jar. Here's another piece of her artwork. You can scroll through the different um, photos. You can enlarge them, look at them. This one's 1954 to 1956. 
So there's a couple other things that are not hers, but you can just try to like focus on like what is. Okay, so if you also put Met Kids, you can do it in the Google bar too of um, wherever you're going. The Metropolitan Museum has this little, if you click on that little kids um, icon there, it'll take you to like lots of really awesome videos that the Metropolitan Museum has worked really hard on. And one that I'll show you here has um, a Native American artist. He's not from the Pueblo region, but his name's Ty, and he's really cool. And he talks about how um, art can send a message. And he talks about how um, his when he wears his um, Native American, I think he's from Wisconsin, the outfit and plays the music and the ancient language um, that he feels at home. So um, this kind of centers back to identity and how Maria, Mar um, Maria Martinez was able to sign her artwork. Um, there's some really cool um, links and videos in this Met Kids um, application where you can um, look at different videos um, and just be inspired that way. The Met right now is closed, um, but we can check it out online. So here's the Met Kids site. And here he is, um, Ty, and it's a three minute video, made kids, by kids, for kids. Um, so he plays some of his ancient ancestral instruments, wears his clothes, and he has like a really short interview with the kids. Um, so you can link into that and check that out if you have time. What else is going on? There's a lot of other resources here. So I had a really good time with you guys today. Thanks so much for checking out the Met Museum with me and Maria Martinez. And I look forward to seeing all your great artwork.